Hey, thanks for tuning in. We're going to go look at this story that came out about a week ago on The Real Deal. And this is the follow-up of the most important thing or the most important fact of 2023's housing market, which really defined a lot of um, what happened for buyers, sellers, realtors, anyone, even home contractors, any of these services that revolve around. 2023 had some volume in terms of transaction for existing home sales in 30 years. Contracts closings fell 1% in December. This is according to the National Association of Realtors. Um, so for the last three decades, the lowest volume, that's even less than 2008, notching in around 4.0 million existing home sales. Um, and wh why was this? A lot of people feel like this was because of the s drastic dr rise in interest rates peaking in about December or sorry, October, um, around 8%. They came down drastically in November and December. Um, and the median home sale price uh, of existing homes rose 4.4% year over year in December to 3,820 and 60 and then it peaked at 389 earlier in the year. I even just saw a couple reports that are more recent since it's, it's uh, almost the end of January now saying that it almost went to 420, um, which is the highest ever for the medium median sale. Um, this does exclude new construction sales, which are pushing the market. I mean, the one situation is that there's just not a lot of inventory. So the only stuff that's on the market is New construction, new construction generally is more expensive than existing home sales because of the age, obviously. Um, the market has a reason for optimism, though. Mortgage rates have cooled from the October peak, like I was just saying, and builder sentiment in December has indicated inventory could bounce back from historically low levels. Uh, this also has to do with costs coming down after the, kind of the COVID squeeze for supply chains. Uh, the last month's sale looked like they will be at the bottom for inevitably turning higher in the new year, which is true. All cash buyers continued to climb to the market, accounting for 29% of all purchases last month. Wow. Up 2%, two percentage points from November. Um, you know, all the regions tracked by NAR year over year dips in home sales, but not all experienced the same over month to month. In the West, sales jumped 7.8% from last month, while sales plummeted 43 and 2.8 in the Midwest and South. Didn't really change in the Northeast, I guess. For all sale inventory that ended last month, there was 1 million homes following 11%, 11.5% in November, but up 4.2% year over year. So inventory, you know, that's the thing is that the inventory, it, there's no, even though there's not a lot of transactions, you'd expect the prices to decline, but that has just not been the case. So I, I my predictions, I think next year, this is going to get, um, we're going to definitely see a lot more transactions. So my just personal experience, the last 60 days, as soon as these rates dropped, I saw a lot more buyers who were working with me one year, two years ago, decided to hold off, come back, say they want to buy. Open houses since November have been very busy. A lot of the places that we put offers in had multiple offers. And uh, even just, you know, brokers who do a lot of deals just – um, seeing that big influx of people coming in when, you know, an eight per, a six and a half is way better than an eight for in terms of interest rates. So I hope you enjoyed this article. If you like this videos, like, subscribe to the channel, follow me at MarcusShot.com and this YouTube channel, obviously.